Hello everyone, welcome to our stream, welcome to our second dev developer stream uh, where we will continue our campaign from the from the last week. So let me first turn on the camera now, okay, that should be fine. I also want to turn on the sound of the game and let's switch to the game now, okay. So everything should be set up, so just, uh, if you don't mind, just uh, drop a message that it all works. Hey, Trot for fun. Good to see you here. <laughs> so what I will do in the meantime, I will start the, the game. It was a stream, I think. I was actually streaming uh, last week, um, I think it was on Friday, and uh, it was an unannounced stream where we uh, where we played basically the, ca the vanilla campaign map, uh, but in the Alexander uh, in the Alexander DLC mod. So uh, it was, I would say, not scheduled just uh, for this reason that I wanted to record this this gameplay where you can see the old game or the original game with the new with the new rules so this this stream didn't have anything to do with uh, with this campaign if you are interested in to see that let me let me copy paste the copy paste the link i already uploaded to uploaded to youtube so, so feel free to check it out uh, I still didn't get, get any confirmation that everything works. I hope that it does. Um, so if you just drop a message like it's working, then I would really appreciate that. But I think it should work. Uh, it all seems to it all seems to be correctly set up. Trot for fun is saying we will see how pro plays this game. For me, it's still a new new and hard. Okay, well. It is actually the second stream, so uh, you might check out the, the previous episode where we played, I think, okay, 20 turns, this is 20th turn. We played already uh, around three hours. We are playing Hellas and uh, it's not an easy setup because uh, there are two things which are quite difficult. The first one is that we are um, members of a confederation or Alexander's confederation. So we don't uh, we don't have in our hands the foreign policy. A little bit quiet. Okay, uh, let me check that out. That this can be. Hmm, I have it maximum. So let me just change the, the mic setup. Can you understand me, or is it really too, uh, that bad that you cannot? Just checking out the uh, mic setting, but it all seems I cannot really make it louder. Let me check one more thing. Um, yeah, it, it looks kind of okay. So I'm not really sure where can I set it up. <laughs> so, uh, well, can you understand? I, uh, I can I can speak a bit louder. Uh, I'm everything is on 100%. So I'm not really sure how else I can maybe um, change the mic position. Let me know if this is okay. So the first problem is the is the Macedon Confederation. So so we are basically not able to control our foreign policy. And the second problem is that uh, Hellas, our our homeland, is divided into three different uh, parts on map. The first one is of course Greece. The second one is uh, the southern tip of Italy, and the third part is Sicily. We have, as far as I remember. No, we don't have any ships. I think that I sold it. Let me just check it out. Yes, I sold it. Uh, I didn't. 
No, 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 sorry. Here it is. Uh, we have one ship, one Byrim here, which might help us. Uh, um, when we need to defend these these parts, but uh, to be honest, uh, we cannot really. If if we are attacked on more uh, more fronts, we are not able to, to defend it all. There are two reasons. We have just uh, one peltas here and the other one here. I think that one is now being recruited here, uh, or no, it's here. It's the hoplite, and we should probably call him back to the action soon because his experience is really really low. Uh, so, last time uh, it actually ended up quite well, uh, Macedon was able to push, uh, push back I Illyrians, we are in war with Illyrians, and because of Macedon is our master, uh, then also Macedon is in war with Illyrians, and uh, there is this city or town which has uh, one nomad inside, like a garrison unit, and we, what we, what we want to do, we want to basically wait for our opportunity. And once the, this nomad is gone, we will attack that. The problem is that I'm not 100% sure uh, that we will actually uh, that, the, that the town will belong to us because now the borders are getting close to Macedon. And uh, when you are in confederation or federation, then there are there are some kind of algorithm which basically decides. Um, when a con when a tile is conquered, who who this is going to belong to? So this is our plan for now. Uh, otherwise, we are trying to improve our economy. We already built a blacksmith. We have all the mines connected. Uh, we are trying to be in a good relation with Sparta because if Sparta attacks, we would have problems here. And uh, we will start to focusing on the other two parts. So this settler was brought the last time just to connect it with the city, with Syracuse. And we, we also have settler here who will f um, eventually connect all these parts and um, build a town, I think, um, I think here. So uh, the only thing what we might do is to move this guy. The, uh, move our peltas. Um, but not sure if it makes sense. Yeah, let's 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 uh, move him back. Because if this nomad will uh, attacks, he might attack us, and we don't want that. So that's it. I hope that the mic is better now. I'm really trying to speak louder. might um, set these uh, movements of AI again a bit differently so we won't see all the all the movements next time. Okay, so they actually brought the reinforcement from uh, Lysos, it's a uh, warrior's unit and it didn't end up well for Macedon and that's also mean for us. And the problem is that Macedon also uh, fights on the north with um, Thracians, which kind of... Um, you know, they have to split all the armies, so they are not this, uh, as strong as we would like to. <laughs> By the way, there is a new update uh, which was released just, I think, two days ago. It's uh, version 1 to 1. To one. Uh, it, it brought some nice improvements regarding trading. Okay, so uh, again, we don't have uh, control over our foreign policy, and Macedon is our master. And Macedon declared war to a against Asua, which so we just follow. That's uh, there's nothing we can do about it. There, there are some pi uh, pirates uh, stealing our goods. Uh, the update actually brought this um, feature. So now you can see uh, both request and offer on the same page. So there is no um, drop down or selector where you have to select uh, if you want to see requests, uh, the list of requests or list of offers. Now it is all on the same uh, on the same window in the same window. There are also uh, other other things uh, which are nice to have, but uh, I don't think that we have to go through all the all the items in the change log. So. Uh, it seems like 
We should at least check uh, what's in the pillows. We will be able to check it once we get closer and we can see that the, the nomad is still there. Um, this Parminion, uh, Parminion uh, Phalangatide is actually uh, the best unit the Greek armies can have. Uh, it's a very strong unit and this one also have this, uh, has this threat and forager and uh, medic so I think that they will attack again because they are really strong no matter the, um, the health is a bit lower but uh, I don't think that we, sh we should be those who will attack first so let's just wait sometimes it, the, the defense is the best offense that's the opposite of the saying uh, we had we had some difficulties last um, time with some resources, which now seems to be gone uh, because we switched the government, or didn't we? I think that we did, but I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, I will I will continue with the road network building, and this guy is uh, was brought back to Corinth just to calm down. Oh, here is here is the hoplite. Okay, so we have one more hoplite, and we should send him um, directly to the battlefront. And we might be able. Let's just see. We might be able to recruit one more, but maybe we don't have. No, we don't have enough gold for now. And even we we would, um, there is still a problem that uh, we would not be able to cover the maintenance. So. Uh, let's let's just stay with what we have. Uh, here is the Byrim. Uh, as far as I know, everything is now on the on that on that place we want to. So we have settler here, we have uh, settler here, we have one peltast here. I think that we also wanted one more settler uh, in this area, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, let's call this guy to the action. This basic basically uh, mobilize that unit, so um, they will they will get back uh, they will be called back to the service. That means that the city size was decreased, and these guys are now preparing back for the duty. Um, I think that that's it. Uh, what we can do with this uh, vessel, we can call uh, we can uh, return it to reserves. Because we, right now, we don't have anything what this ship should do, so let's, let's just uh, call it back to reserves, which will save us some money. Uh, and as far as I know, we have all the tradings built, that's, that's great. And what we should check out is also available improvements for all the cities. Okay, here we can build stone masonry. And we can do the same here, I think. No, okay, let's build this in Syracuse. So that's fine. And uh, the other cities... What I'm actually looking at is this available improvements tooltip. And you can see if there is something that would increase your production. Basically what what is really useful, uh, then it's uh, underlined. So you can see goldsmith here. And we should definitely build that goldsmith uh, as soon as we have enough uh, it's uh, wood. I think that we are kind of in shortage of wood. And the problem might be the bird trade. So let's let's tune it down for now. Okay, let's end the turn. Hey, Canon Futural, <laughs> good to see you here. Ah, I forgot. I forgot to change the setting for AI movements, and uh, I will. I will do that next next turn. It's actually not that bad. I think that we already have some kind of filter there, so we don't see all the movements. So when I'm attacking back the coal mine, I I can just presume that the reason is that they are out of coal and they need it for the production. So it's good for us because the city is now empty. Uh, we can attack it. Uh, the problem is it's on hill, so there is some kind of defense bonus, and um, 
the um, the other guy, the warriors might come back. Thracians are pushing or trying to push Macedonians. So let's see how you uh, how successful they are. We are definitely on side of Macedon because they, not only they are our masters, but we now share the same uh, s same goal basically. We can build granary now. That's that's great. And we should choose a new um, technology to, uh, to research. I think that we don't have uh, resources to build any of those because they are quite advanced. So we will just go with stable for now. Um, so the road to Larissa is now built. It seems like we are actually having all the connected, except for the south. We definitely need that. So I will bring this settler down and the hoplite will get to the battlefront. Uh, this guy is still healing, I hope that next turn he will be ready. And this Peltast, that's the question. I don't think that we should, uh, that uh, we can attack now. I mean, we won't be able to take Philos the first, uh, with the first attack and uh, we will be damaged for the first, second attack next turn or Macedonian uh, army will take it, so we don't want that. Let's go to game settings and change the player. Okay, let's just see the only enemy actions. We are not interested to see those nations which are not in war with us. And in Syracuse we can now build... Um, no, we still don't have enough wood. So let's first thing let's do what we can to save some. Okay, there is trade where we are actually trading away uh, wood. So let's cancel that. Yeah, we we had shortage of iron. Now it's okay. So let's just cancel both of these trades. That should that should bring us a lot. Uh, we are trading away some food. It's it's I think okay and we don't really have anything to trade away we are doing just fine for now so now the AI turns or animations should uh, be finished faster so, Macedonians are attacking the Nomad, and okay, so they destroyed that unit. It doesn't help us yet, because we need them to strike first on that city. If we will strike first, we will simply, that the chance we will take it is really low. And we, we uh, actually got a Sage. Uh, respected teacher we can use this is a this is a really nice uh, unit you get it from your temples from time to time and there are basically three different options of what they can do uh, first is that they can oh someone is trying to influence our our cities here Samnia is trying to influence them and it quite uh, quite considerably lower our uh, our general mall over there that that's definitely not good so um, we probably should bring the unit here because once uh, another nation starts influencing your own cities it's sometimes it's not all the time but uh, sometimes it's a sign of I would say um, conflict which uh, might be eventually a change to war so our hoplite is now uh, on its on its place to attack. That's good. We will br uh, bring there also the Teltast, and we will now wait. We cannot attack with that uh, with that hoplite. We can attack with that Peltast, but you can see the commander's advice is dangerous position. It's really like no go. So uh, let's let's just wait and see what will happen. We have the other hoplite here. the The problem with this ho uh, with this hoplite is that. Uh, you can see that car experience is 86% lower than in new recruits. 
The problem is that uh, this unit was uh, in reserves for from the beginning of the game, I think. So it's like 23 turns and uh, its experience slowly declines. So eventually it's almost next to useless. What we need to do, or what we can do, is we basically will use this unit just for conquering, um, let's say, undefended tiles. And once this experience gets back, and it is progressively getting back, we will be able to use it in the battle. So let's do it for now. Uh, this settler, we want it to... We wanted to build that road. We also don't have this uh, this town connected yet, so that might be another. No, let's first let's first finish the fields. This this field will definitely be used by Corin. So let's go there and build road and field. This guy is now fully healed. Um, the question is, he's quite experienced emissary. So uh, the question is, what we uh, need. What is the most important thing for us in the diplomatic world? We basically can improve our relation with Macedon. It's not that good. You can see that the attitude is peaceful. It's okayish, but it's definitely not something we can rely on. And uh, with Sparta, we have better relation, but the problem is that we control that um, the let's say the state. If it's if we are in peace or in war. So let's get back again to let's get back again to Pella and use some of the influence just to improve our relationship. So we, what you can see again, we will we will need some resources, we will need some influence and a bit of knowledge. Um, we have experience bonus for the experienced emissary. Current relation is peaceful. Let's see what will what it will be once we once we apply that uh, or once once we use the lobbying. So it's four percent better. Still the, still peaceful, but you can already see that the emissaries in insinuating is already uh, counted in that. So I think that's that's it. All right. Okay. We have this um, we have this sage. Uh, it's basically a unit. Which uh, which is peaceful, so we can it can travel through uh, through other players' lands, uh, and it cannot be killed as long as that uh, unit uh, or that um, let's say player or faction is in peace with us. But it ca it has uh, interesting uh, options what to do. First, we can build philosophical schools in our own cities. The second thing is that it triples uh, uh, a cities production of inf uh, of knowledge and influence as far as I remember uh, where it stays so you can either use it for uh, for building the philosophical school and the unit is gone or you can just keep it alive and it, it will increase the production or you can actually also build that um, philosophical school in other players uh, cities which might be either uh, which might be either uh, positive or negative because you decide if this um, if this philosophical school is politically active or not. Uh, and the last thing is that you can give technology with this with this emissary. You can just uh, sorry emissary sage. You can go to other players' uh, city and you can you you can uh, use the action called give technology, which basically means that you will uh, reveal the technology for them for free. What we will do uh, the best would well. There is no best option, but what we what we can do is we will just find the, the the biggest city we have. Okay, well that's that's our capital. That's uh, quite uh, that was quite uh, a good guess. We should bring bring him there and uh, build their philosophical school because that's for free. We would need uh, this fleet. So the question is if we will do it straight away or we will wait a bit. I think that we might wait. So let's bring him first here and leave him in the city. The reason why I'm bringing him in here is that this city is safe. These are quite uh, revolting, you can see that, so it's not that safe. And you can see here this build school action. So we can build a, a philosophical school here, but we just want that uh, unit to, to be active here. Here we build the roads. And now we will. No, no, no. Sorry, uh, it's the next turn. So I think that's uh, that's it for now. Uh, 
we should build in Syracuse. We still don't have enough uh, wood, but we will have soon, so that's fine. So let's end the turn. Uh, yeah, so I assume some knights uh, just completed the mission. Yeah, it seems like that. Uh, if there are more uh, influence or more cities where influence is applied, then it's quite, I would say, um, quite the values of that influence are quite high, it usually means that uh, there is some kind of uh, reward of an objective. I don't know which objective it is, but yes, I guess so. Bella is no longer the capital? check it out I thought it is but it would make sense because um, oh yeah you are right well that, 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 then we will move that emissary to the capital of course the good thing is that we just saw that they didn't uh, well good thing it's actually not a good thing they attacked mine instead of the city so it's even worse for us because uh, now the the tile might eventually go to them and not to us. Uh, Hellas cancelled the trade. Okay, uh, sorry. Ah, the losses were too high. So this basically means that we cancelled the trade because we had the, the trade loss was uh, too high. So we basically cancelled it uh, because that was the uh, our assignment. So first thing. Hella, okay. They changed the capital. Ah! So let's go there. And let's insinuate again. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that was the reason why the why the increase was uh, lower. So now it's 7% and we are already on, on in polite uh, range. And you can see that the emissary, uh, emissary is insinu insinuating is now even higher. So that's good. Uh, <laughs> this is tricky. I mean, I don't think that we will be able to, to conquer that. We might increase our chances if we will take over this. Um, once we take over this tile, because one of the one of the things which um, decide who this is going to belong to is how many tiles around are yours. But but we should now be able to take it. They have just two. Well, let's hey. attack. But I really doubt that we will be able to conquer that. Yeah. We also have, have this hoplite here. But we cannot really use them anyway. And the other thing is... Um, I will just check out if we... If we will be able to... To influence... No. No, it's too... Oh, it's really, it's really... Expensive. So guys, what would you do? I mean... It's our game, so you just tell me... Uh, what would you do? I'm really curious. Uh, how would you react in such situation? Do you think it is worth to actually to actually try to attack and take it or wait? Is it we won that city, but sometimes you need to wait for the right moment. So uh, just let me know. I in the meantime I will briefly uh, check out the uh, what we can build. We can also build stone masonry. We can build goldsmith here. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. We should definitely do that. That's this gold. So uh, we will do that next turn. Well, we don't. <laughs> we have what we have. So we either attack or we wait. We there is no time to get. I don't even think that we have that um, have that perk yet. I think that for now there is just defense and maybe, maybe yeah, maybe assault is there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that's not an advice. Uh, Ikanon Futuro is saying that we should get uh, first some improvements or trainings for that unit, which uh, I agree. But now it's kind of too late for that. So. Uh, any proper advice we have what we should do right now? Okay, so that's that's probably it from this perspective. Uh, I don't think that we that that, that this setup is uh, is good for building another uh, blacksmith. We might be able to build blacksmith here, but at least we would need to take this coal mine, and this is uh, Carthaginians. And uh, for now, we are quite happy 
with the fact that they are in peace with us. Okay, so no advice. Well, fair enough. They also have the city raider. The problem is that if we don't, uh, if we won't take it, they will take it with 100% certainty. So go back to the uh, Canon and Futter is saying go back to the Dona and get the perk and try again a little later and hope Mastodon. Well, they will. That's almost for sure. That's almost for sure. Look, this this is the uh, they have dread, which lowers the defense. They have medic, which means that even they uh, even they uh, get. I mean, they will not get destroyed, but they will not win. Then the, their health will increase back quite soon. They then they have the city ranger, so we would be able to. Uh, okay, we would be able at least to get to the city and train that unit. This unit has defense. No, let's wait. Let's wait and we might even fortify the unit just in case something bad happen. And that's, that's it. So, fingers crossed that uh, Macedons uh, attack that city and uh, won't, won't conquer that. And it will be, it will be there for us. Actually, the Illyrians might might still attack. Okay, this is what we wanted, kind of. Oh, well, that's not exactly what we wanted. It's quite surprising. Eh? Hmm. Fair enough. So we are on our own now. Well, uh, Drop for Fun is saying, are asking, two units is not enough to take hills. Well, it's it's on hill, and on hill there is like 40% bonus uh, when when someone attacks that uh, that CD. That's the first thing. Second thing is it's already quite big. It's 3.9, so the size size matters when you attack. And the other uh, other problem is that. Um, we have Peltast. If we would have two Hoplites, I think that we would be okay, but the Peltast is uh, weaker. So, yeah, I'm not sure if we are, if, uh, if we make it. And Canon and Futrell is asking, I wonder who designed Macedonia in a way that they have those overpowered units from the start? Well, <laughs> what do you mean, we did? <laughs> How in hell they just died? Yeah, I think that the problem was uh, that they were on the on the woodlands terrain and there is like I think minus 30% that's the first thing and the second thing is that uh, I guess that this guy, this guy who is somewhere in the fog of war was probably quite uh, experienced already okay so what we will do we will now attack because we can we, we well actually we don't have to attack but if we want to attack this, uh, they will they will bring the hoplites there so let's attack we might even do something else we might try to um, let's bring the hoplite here okay so now you can see that this tile is ours and this tile was uh, was taken by Masenon that's what I was talking about but it's okay because if we attack Philos it will definitely be ours they have just three tiles we have uh, six uh, five tiles around and we are the attackers so it also matters so now uh, let's, let's fortify here and with this guy we might be able to train him this will also increase the the low experience so let's go with the soul sometimes you have to take a risk yeah I know I know we will take the risk anyway just it should be weighted risk so settler now build the the road to a city. Uh, we should probably continue and build the uh, um, build the whole road here. And now we should be also able to build a goldsmith in Thebes. I think yes. So let's build it. Again, another point for our economy now. And again, let's just try to insinuate. 8% up, it's great. I think that it will, it will slowly get better and better. I think that we don't have, we, don't, we definitely don't have to go to 100%, but once it's somewhere here, 
uh, like 70% or 80% that uh, should be all fine. Regarding the uh, resources, we have a bit of surplus of gold, a bit of surplus of coal, we are doing great with stones now, uh, iron is also quite good. Food is, uh, we are in plus numbers, but I wouldn't trade it, it's simply not enough. Especially, yeah, it's not enough for trading. The the wood, we definitely need need more. Slaves, uh, slave slave ratio is now good, so it all seems quite good. What we can do, we can actually trade stones for wood. So let's try to find that. So we are looking for stones in this column. Okay, we have coal. His trade loss is. 30% it's it's not the best option but let's uh, let's go with that so we will offer them two stones and we will ask for free wood let's see if they accept 10 turns seems okay let's see and let me also check the state decisions we can hire general okay that's something we should definitely do so we will uh, we just have general and we will go straight to the battlefront and encourage our uh, units so they will be more efficient in the in the battle uh, Canon and footer is saying I would put the population growth things to uh, think to 100% for size yeah we can we can do that but it wouldn't really change that much I mean you can you can do this micromanagement but uh, what would be the point? We have enough food, we don't need more, we might be able to to make a bit more and trade one or two or three uh, items, but I don't really do that much that uh, micromanagement when I play. It doesn't get that, that good for uh, Macedons, to be honest. But let's see. Wow, that's quite the uh, opposite of what we wanted, right? So we we uh, we offered two stones for free wood, and they said, "Well, that's a lot. We will give you one wood." <laughs> um, no. is under siege. That's what we wanted. So this means that now uh, Philos is besieged, and the and the moral is is um, is decreasing. So you can see that now they have 80%. So now we might either be able to already attack or we should wait one more turn just to uh, get the general moral even lower. So I think that we should wait one more turn. We can go to the hill just, just in case they will attack. Okay, they are fortified here, that's strange. Hmm. We might attack them directly now, which might be, wi which might be wise. Never, nevertheless, we have the the hoplite ready now, and we will also do. Let's do defense. Okay. We cannot encourage both units for now, but what we can do. And what we will do, we will um, bring there our general and try to influence uh, or provoke a rising in the time. Okay, 2% two, two is not much. That's the reason is that this general is unexperienced and even the, his general more is not that high. Another another lobbying for, uh, for our nation. We are getting higher again, so that's all good. And what else? Here we wanted to build first farm and then we will build road this guy will stay here and uh, yeah this is the settler oh we didn't connect the city yet so we will get back to the city first and then we will build a town so one more turn one more wait and we are ready I don't think there is anything we want to do uh, more Maybe I will just check once again the uh, improvements we can do. Stone masonry here, okay. So there is one stone which is not connected yet. 
that's it. So, uh, so the only thing is that we should connect uh, this. So we can do it in Athens, but we no, uh, don't have enough wood yet, so next turn. Fine. Let's go, and next turn we will strike. I hope that you can uh, even hear the music of the game. I, I put it uh, on low volume, but I still like to hear it in the background. So we can see that there is there is some uh, there is an independent nation. There was a civil war in uh, Anatolia, and Macedon is trying to get them under control. Okay, so the hoplite, uh, the warrior attack. It was not successful, but we are we will be out of action points in that turn. Let's see uh, what we can do. And good old Macedon now uh, tries to um, tries to help us with this general Illyrian general who um, I think that is trying to initiate some revolts in our own land. Persia has declared war against Macedon. Well. <laughs> What can we say? I mean, um, well, that's worse. So this is kind of a deal breaker. Sparta has declared war against Macedon, which means that we are in war with Sparta too. And that's the general who just disembarked in our uh, rear. And I. At least one good message, so they were starving, the Philos was starving, and they didn't uh, hold on for long, and it is now ours. And the gold, goldsmith was built uh, by the city by uh, itself. So, the situation has changed quite considerably in one turn. Shaidorsa is asking if I'm Pavel. Yes, I'm Pavel. <laughs> nice, to, nice, to, nice to meet you. Uh, so the, the situation has changed quite a lot. So what we what we should do, we need to um, we need to be sure that this will not switch side again. So I think that we might be able to build civil service first. Let's do that. Let's build civil service. Second thing is, this is our enemy now. So we definitely need to bring these guys back, even though they are quite. Uh, inefficient now due, due to the experience this guy has to go back no well this is he, this this uh, hoplite is out of movement so we really need this guy who else is here ah that's our general okay at least we can do one more encourage for these two units so let's do it and let's bring Peltas back to the Peloponnese Hopefully they will not be able. We have this uh, defense here, which is uh, it's called stockade. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure how how long would it would it be able to hold them. I think that we might even need to <laughs> use this settler as a, as a defender or garrison unit. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I misclick. Well, what can you do? So here we need road. Yes, that's uh, what we have. And we, what, what we will do now, we will try to praise Sparta again. The reason is simple. We want them to sign peace. For us, this is way more uh, dangerous uh, when we are in war with Sparta than for Macedon. Macedon might not, not even care. So uh, we need to be those active ones who are asking proactively, uh, trying to uh, get back to peace. So this uh, hoplite will be there next turn. And I think that that's it. We might be able to build... No, we don't have enough gold for that. Okay, so that's, that's it. Sparta is a banger, yeah. I know, uh, for Hellas, it's extremely important to be in, uh, in peace with them. Hey, nice to have a face with the familiar name. Yeah, I, decide, I actually... Okay, Karkis has declared war on us. Or on Macedon. 
Yeah, I decided to turn on the camera. I have never used it before, actually. I mean, um, I just have to set it up. So let's see what will what will this bring us. The good thing is that Mastodon will be able to kill the general. That's great. General Bonin is dead. But apart from that, it's quite tense on several different fronts. I think that uh, this uh, front with Thracians is quite stabilized now, and I think that they will try to push them back again. Let's see. Ah, Carthage has declared war, okay. Yeah, I think that Carthage... Carthage sees an opportunity to take that uh, Sicily colony we have there. Macedon has signed peace with, uh, with that independent nation, okay. And Carthage? Oh! Wow, that's... That's fast. I, well, I expected some kind of action, but I didn't expect that action so so quickly. Okay. Uh, well, uh, let's let's move on. Uh, so let's build, uh, let's research coal yard uh, with the slowest possible option. Hoplites will still not. Um, need at least one more turn to get there. And with, uh, with the general we probably should move here with our troops and encourage them on the way. So let's encourage them here. And this guy will simply This guy will simply probably take this land and go back to Philos. So there is some kind of buffer when when they try to attack. So again, we will try to praise Sparta. Let's see what's the current uh, what's the current attitude. Okay, it's not that bad. I think that they might be able to to sign peace again. So we definitely need to take this settler and s go away. There is there is nothing we can do with this. So this is the place where we wanted initially to build the city and this guy will be destroyed that's for sure. I honestly don't think that there is anything we can do here. We cannot build uh, any units. This, this will be taken that's for sure. And we, what we will do, we will, we will uh, call back to service our Peltast here and try to take the Silnos. So they will take our uh, southern part of Italy and they, we will take Salinos. There is nothing we can do. I mean, that's that's all. The only thing what we can we can hope for is that Carthage, that they will sign peace again. So our situation here, uh, let's go to Corinth and wait for re reinforcement. Uh, with this guy we will uh, just move as, as far as we can and wait for the Byrim to pick it up and we will call back to service Byrim. Uh, we also need to postpone our plan to, um, to build city here, at <coughs> least as long as Peltast is not ready in Syracuse. Hmm. Yeah, that it's uh, it has started. <laughs> it is starting to be quite tense, but uh, let's not uh, be pessimistic. We still haven't lost pretty much anything. Uh, Shaidor Sai is asking: Is this a let's play, or have you specific objectives? Yeah, well, you mean objectives like why I'm now streaming this, or? Uh, this is just a let's play where I'm trying to, um, on the way I'm trying to explain bits and pieces which might be interesting for the viewers, but uh, that's a regular let's play. Um, 
Canon is literally uh, saying maybe the Egyptian ship will also land on troops. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> they might fight each other, that, that might be nice. Objective for now is survive. Yeah, that's true, but we uh, still might check out what are the other objectives. Okay, that was maybe not that wise to, um, to end up on that woodland, but we were able to survive and we go now retreat. So Macedon, their quite lousy fleet is now uh, being attacked by Persian fleet. Macedon actually disembarked in um, Byzantium, but it's gone now. And I think that this spell dust is just... I this is this is the only battlefront where it looks quite good. I think that they will be able to Muslim will be able to put back uh, Drakians and hopefully they will sign peace soon so they can they can use those armies on other battlefronts. Uh Shido sorry saying I mean such a test thing, but uh, you've answered the question. Okay. Oh, that's not a, not a testing. I mean, when we test, we uh, cannot play like this. Uh, if uh, once we once we play test, there are different kind of tests. We do like a proper AI test where just AIs plays against AIs. Uh, it's not actually happening in this UI, so it doesn't have that graphic. It's like um, squares. You can see just squares. And uh, when we when we play test the game in the game like this then we usually need to, once we see something strange, then we go back to that, try to investigate what's, what's wrong, etc. So no, this is really just for fun. Uh, Region is not yet taken, uh, because uh, the um, Sage is not a military unit, it's not even attacked, because um, it will be taken by them. We might be able to... No, we won't, won't be able to, to escape. This settler now just need to wait. That's all we can do, and we can uh, um, keep him on hill, so we will have a better uh, oversight of what's going on on that uh, on the island. Here we can still improve the the agriculture, and we should because we might be able to somehow survive. But let's see. Peltast and hoplites are on the way. Hoplite is able to get to Corinth, and this is the Hoplite which is really not ready for battle. So what we will do, we will simply have him like uh, in reserve, just in case. And uh, Peltast will be in Corinth next turn. Question is, if we shouldn't use this uh, Peltast and uh, upgrade him to Hoplite in Athens, because that would give us some kind of edge in the conflict. But uh, it's also quite risky. So uh, our settler now can simply um, simply continue with his own, own own stuff. And let's again praise Sparta. So this is uh, this is one thing what can happen when you are actually slandering or praising another faction. Basically, uh, usually you just increase that relation or decrease it. It depends on which action you actually perform. But sometimes this uh, information gets back to the to the faction which uh, is in question. So in this case it's Sparta and this means what it says that our own relationship with Sparta was increased. So if I will check out now uh, this you can see praising us another faction what increased a bit the relationship between us, not Macedon, but us uh, with Sparta. This is kind of useless when we are talking about the war now, but once we get uh, independent on Macedon, this will be the, the, the value which is actually important. So we will wait here. What we can do, we can also build a road here just in case we need to use this uh, as a defense point. So, let's check out what's the current situation of our beloved Philip. Oh, Philip, sorry, Alexander. I think that this is going well. 
because you can see that Trakians have no more units or they might bring some new units but it seems like there are no units around and they have three units okay they are a bit, bit, uh, a bit weakened but still it should be okay to, uh, to take care of that nomad this uh, warrior is probably going I don't know maybe here or somewhere to be maybe to, uh, here to be healed let's see and they have this hoplite which might be able to help us uh, here so let's let's see what what they will do we cannot control their actions so uh, let's see what they will do this city is now being um, on fire but we are not going to do anything about it okay let's end the turn and see Canon and Footer is saying seems uh, Sparta just declared uh, to war to get you other <laughs> uh, yeah possibly so the, the city is gone so uh, they are not even going to attack that but they will take that uh, they will take the position and they disembark on Sicily as well wow that's uh, <laughs> that's tense so even we uh, get that Byrim re uh, Byrim ready we cannot take the Totas uh, to defend Italy anyway It's not, uh, not an easy setup for health, and I knew that. Um, because, you know, these three different regions you have to defend is a problem, and Sparta itself is a problem. It's good that they haven't attacked us yet. Uh, maybe they. You know, maybe Macedon declared war. I'm not sure if there was Macedon declared war on Sparta or the other way around. So. Let's see how it will end up. Yeah. So here they are actually pushing back uh, Thracians, and they are uh, they s seem to do it well. Hopefully this one will survive. Oi! There are definitely more bad news than the good news. So this guy, Swordman, has just landed on our land. The city was destroyed. I don't see anything more here. <sighs> I think that we should at least save that settler now. We might use him later. So what we definitely need to do. This Byron is now ready. So we will pick, pick this settler. Bring him to the mainland. After that we will bring this settler to the mainland and uh, in the meantime we might be able to somehow spare a unit and and send it as a reinforcement that's basically all we can do so the settler goes here we pick him up here we have eight movement yeah that should be fine i hope that they will not follow us they will not see where we are going anyway. Okay, let's go here. Our hoplite. Our hoplite should probably heal up in Philos. So let's go to Philos. There's not much we can do, he's too weak to be able to do anything. And here, this is import, uh, important point and important strategic decision. We can attack, yeah. We can definitely attack. The commander's advice is equal chance. Fair enough. But we probably won't be able to destroy them entirely, which means they will counter-attack. Uh, oh. I think that m definitely better would be if we just get to the Syracuse and wait what they will do. They might either they will either attack us, which is what we want, or they will uh, start conquering these uh, mines which is definitely not what we want and the worst case is that if they conquer this tile then this city is going to be besieged 
We can, what we can do... We can sell... This shipyard, let's do that. Let's, let's sell this shipyard. And this guy is just waiting to... F waiting... <laughs> To be rescued. So let's see. Uh, let's see if, if it will or will not happen. Um, we can see that Sparta is not doing anything for now. The experience of this unit is slowly getting back. I think that they have okay, 61%. Yeah, let's let's upgrade them. I hope that we will be able to upgrade them. Yeah, okay, four, four, fair enough. Do we have that goldsmith on it? Yeah. So we need more gold. We will get some gold once the once the shipyard is sold. We can trade with uh, with Samnia for the gold and we have enough Coal? Yeah, let's 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 uh, uh, let's offer coal for gold. Let's put there even more than just ten turns. Uh, and that's basically the only only business partner who offers gold. So let's try that. Hey, thank you for stopping by, Trot, for fun. Good night. So, Cartagian, Cartagian unit actually did attack and that's what we wanted, so uh, it's still not lost. Illyrians are attacking coal mine. It's uh, quite good for us because we, we, because we can take it back to ourselves. And they finally destroyed the Nomad. Okay, these are quite good news. Uh, Shaidorsa is asking, uh, what does her trade route look like? Uh, you mean where is the trade route? Well, I can I can show you uh, how to find out more information about the, the trade route. So there are some um, small fights. Uh, or the or post production. Oh, nice! So the hoplite helped us, and they were able to destroy that uh, warrior. Sparta uh, landed on our coast in the rear, but it's just general. We shouldn't really underestimate that because they might try to initiate revolts here, and that would really kill us. And uh, and the uh, trade was signed, so great, we have uh, additional gold because we are getting out of gold uh, due to the big army we have. So, uh, the trade route, uh, basically when you go to the political map, you can see all your trade routes. Uh, I'm now pressing spacebar, which is the same like pressing this, just to see better the trade route. And you can also check the trade routes uh, on the map. Uh, one thing you can additionally see are the trade routes, uh, active trade routes of other players. Uh, once you, once you choose this, then you will basically see all active trade routes in the game. Not not the trade routes which might be used, but those where actually the uh, the, the trade is now uh, active. And uh, when you have this option turned on, you can also see uh, cities which get something. Uh, out of these uh, trading routes or trading uh, which are being shipped. Uh, shipped. Uh, so uh, let me just show it for example for gold. Let's see if we have. Um, let's see if we actually get something from our trading post. Yeah, so you can see the stone. There is plus uh, 0 point, uh, 0.5 trading post, and the reason is that some of these uh, trades, which are now uh, being transferred, uh, are also uh, transporting coal. And because of these are the cities uh, along the trade route, then some of the coal, which are basically the losses of the trade, are being uh, are being kept or uh, being 
trans uh, transferred to our own uh, reserves because they they need to spend their nights, they need to travel along, etc. So that's uh, this is this is good. This view is good once you want to um, to to try pi uh, piracy. If you have a good fleet, then you can try piracy. We can even try the piracy too. You can see it here. It's the rate. But we have just one Byrim, so we don't we cannot really afford to to do this piracy now. So the uh, the, um, the settler is saved. That's good, and we should save the other one. So let's just see where we can pick him up. It's probably better here. It's uh, easier for the Byrim. We we'll still have some additional points left. And let's go to our coast. I can see here there is a Spartan boat. So hopefully they don't have the idea to <laughs> to disembark here. One thing we can do, we can try to uh, take over this coal mine. Because now it's Illyrians. And it's also damaged, so we, we should be able to, to take it over. I might actually give it a try. We are damaged, but not that not that much. So let's take it. Uh, I think that should be fine. Yeah. Okay. So the so the coal mine is ours. You can see it was before Macedon's. Now it's ours. And we. I hope that uh, Macedonian hoplite will help us to keep this border safe. I'm quite sure that they won't eventually uh, go further. So what we have here? Uh, let's. Let's just try to move around. We were attacked uh, by the garrison units of Sparta. So there are no units, and there is actually one hoplite which is still in the reserves. Hmm. That's strange. But that's definitely good for us. So let's get back to the rear. Uh, let's encourage the unit. And once it's uh, once the hoplite is ready, it should be next turn. We will we will uh, strike Sparta directly with both. We cannot do anything else than uh, just attack it with both because we won't be able to conquer the, uh, that city with just one Peltast. Um, I think that there is not much we need to do here. So let's get back to the rear and uh, build some fields here, which will be used soon. I don't know what is Sparta doing, really. I just think that they are safe and they... Or they don't have enough gold, actually. That might be also the case. That they cannot afford to, to mobilize that unit so, so soon. I don't know. Uh, our Peltast is doing quite good. We will wait another turn. And after that we might be uh, able to attack them. So, praise for one turn, Sparta again. You can see that our experience is uh, already 86. Once it reaches 100, we, we might, be, we might uh, promote this emissary to general if we want. But also our loyalty is going down, so that's something we need to consider. And you can also see the affinity to Macedon now. Because this, this, uh, this emissary already spent like most of his service in Macedon, then his affinity to Macedon is extreme and uh, once he will ask him or order him to get back to uh, our homeland or order him to go somewhere else, he might escape and we will never see him again. But uh, that's the risk we need to take. So coal mine is now damaged, let's keep it damaged. Well, we cannot even afford to repair it because we don't have enough gold. This, this gold thing is big problem. What we can do? Uh, temple... Byrim... Yeah, this is a problem. The hoplites. The settlers, we might be able to put them back to reserves. Which would uh, save some money. Or gold. Otherwise, I don't think that there is anything. We have one gold mine. Yeah, we have only one gold mine. And it's already co connected with blacksmith. And uh, it's also connected to tips with the goldsmith, so that's maximum we can do. 
we might be able to change uh, later the government, but I don't think that it would be even worth it. If you have any questions, don't, don't, don't hesitate. During these AI terms, we might be able to check. So... So it, it seemed like um, there was no winner. And you are right, there is uh, Egypt. Oh my god. There is Egypt, which uh, just disembarked on one island, and there was another disembark uh, on, the, on the tip of the peninsula. And we also saw that Sparta just brought reinforcement from probably from Crete. There is a new Peltast. Uh, Macedon is pushing uh, further Thracians. Hopefully this uh, this hell will soon be over and Macedon will start uh, start asking for peace or maybe not asking but negotiate the peace. Yeah, so this was our uh, island and now it's not. I, I guess that what what they will do, what uh, e e Egypt will probably do, they will uh, build a town there. So that will bring them much closer to us and give them some supply options. Sparta. Oh, cool! So uh, Sparta in general uh, deserted to us. So we have now two generals and uh, Sparta and Larissa. Okay, so. It seems like they used that uh, general to influence our cities, that's what I was afraid. But the general decided to switch sides, so that's, uh, that's good. That's good news. Here we can, uh, what we will do, we will take this settler, maybe even both, and get uh, them to reserves. So you can see Dodona has changed its size, not free, so it now uh, can harvest all these tiles. We might do the same with uh, Thermon. Yeah, let's uh, let's do the same with uh, Thermon and this settler. What's our birth rate support? Yeah, it's it's okay. So we have two hoplites now. One is uh, quite good, and the other one is not. So let's move here. The question is if we will now attack Sparta. Well, they, where there is this um, unit in reserve. It hasn't been called back to service, which means that we will attack directly Sparta now. We might be able to take it if we attack with both uh, units, but if we won't take it, then this, uh, this Peltast will have quite an edge. So he will attack um, those two weakened uh, hoplites. Ah! Let's do one thing. Let's again, uh, first, let's see how it looks like here. Yeah, so there is just one Peltast and there is one hoplite which is not in the zone. So we will, do, we will encourage uh, our two units. So the, the good thing is that we have 25% uh, plus for the general moral, but we will have a decrease, uh, we will have some penalty for uh, low experience now. Commander's advice is not available. So again, same question. Uh, let me just uh, check also other parts. Uh, what would you do? Will we attack the Peltast or will we... Will we attack uh, Sparta directly, the, the capital? If we if we conquer capital, then there will be a lot of resources. That's first thing, and second thing is that there will be a huge more uh, army model drop. We might actually also check if we can. Yeah, we can boost our uh, army model anyway. Let's use strategic overview. It will cost us quite a lot of quite a lot of knowledge, but let's do that for now. 15% up. 
That's first thing. So what would you do, guys? And here I will be build trading because that's what we definitely need. We need more gold, so trading needs to be everywhere. This guy will now really go back to Philos and wait there uh, and heal. This is scrap. I think that we should attack the Peltast first. It's on planes. Yeah. Let's do that. So uh, let's first attack Peltast with the with the good reply. Nice. Okay, so that's even better than I expected. We have some casualties, but it's still quite okay. And this hoplite will probably don't uh, won't do anything for now. Will we attack blacksmith? Probably not. No. Let's wait here. The the hill is quite important for us uh, if we want to defend. Yeah. yeah uh, well, it's too late. But next next time, uh, if you if you say uh, something else, I will do that. Okay. Uh, here it looks quite good. I mean, uh, they are get a, they are still strong, but uh, the health is getting lower and lower, and they have no medic or anything like that, which means we should be able to to eventually destroy them. They will probably attack at least once. They they are still are strong, but once this is this is over, we might uh, counter attack. Here we cannot do any, pretty much anything for now. Uh, the plan, the plan is that uh, this Macedon hoplite will take care of the of this border. We will. We need to wait for this hoplite to heal, and once he's healed up, we will transfer uh, this hoplite here and try to defend it. That's that's currently my plan. We cannot afford another unit. And we also uh, cannot take any other units back to Italy. So that's that's what I think uh, is the only thing we can do. Okay, let's end the turn. I don't think that uh, yeah, yeah that there is this stone masonry, right? So let's build the stone masonry in Athens. We have a lot of stones, which is uh, something we we finally have some, uh, have a resource we might trade away. The problem is that due to all the wars, uh, we are uh, having just four uh, potential business partners. So Roman Republic needs stones, cool, and they have gold. So let's let's basically overpay them. Let's give them seven stones for 4 gold. Let's see if they uh, they will accept that. So the first first episode was quite peaceful and now it oh. Okay. So basically the the Threat of the Carthaginian army in, in uh, near to Syracuse is gone, but on the other hand, our Peltas is also gone, <laughs> and our uh, conquered uh, coal mine is also now back in the hands of the Romans. Well, there are good, there are good days and bad days, right? And this is this is what I, what I hope for. Didn't end up that good, but they have another Peltas who is attacking them from the north. Ah, uh, you are offered. Okay, so they basically ah they lowered the gold, so now it's two. Well, we will take it anyway. I mean, 
we need that like nothing like nothing else uh, so we have just one settler uh, which for now we will use that settler to build all the fields around and possibly connect fields here we need to wait I don't think that they will attack uh, this uh, warrior will attack us because it's on hill and um, it's too dangerous for them let's see um, here we will encourage the units again and we will do the same here with the with the hoplite so let's just be on safe side so they don't attack us directly the generals For you, for me, it was a really uh, that was a really poor trade. Well, you could you can see that sometimes you even trade poorly because you need it, and that's exactly what AI does as well. Because sometimes they some uh, simply need a uh, particular resource so badly that they offer whatever they can. Mm. I don't know why why they didn't call him call this hoplite to back to service. But we will attack them now and see. We have really nice um, general model, so it should be quite uh, quite successful. Okay, we didn't uh, we didn't take it, but uh, okay. So just that was a draw without any casualties, so the the battle didn't didn't basically happen. Let's attack them a second time. There are some casualties now. The city was damaged, 10,000 people were killed. Uh, okay, so they have 72% defense bonus, they have 40% size bonus, they have quite high army moral. Well, that will be tough. The good thing is that Sparta is now without, without uh, the stock, uh, stockade. I think that they had it, right? As far as I remember. That's why there, there was 70%. Uh, when when a city uh, has uh, this kind of defenses, then when it's attacked, uh, then uh, it uh, when the attack is successful, so it means for the city it uh, didn't go well, but it's not conquered, then these uh, improvements are basically removed or it's 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 inefficient to use them anymore anymore. From soon won't be needing stone. Yeah, possi possibly. Let's see. I've I don't even know what is the situation over here. Okay, so they have four four cities. They have four cities now. Let's see. Um, this byrim. We can wait. Or we can get them back to Athens and just uh, go, uh, just get them back to reserves. What I will po probably do is I will destroy this boat because I'm a bit afraid that they are waiting for something and I don't want to be attacked from this place. We should be quite safe in this attack. So. Um, Shaidorsai is asking if Sparta ever had so many as many uh, citizens as it has in this game. I'm not sure. I don't think that uh, there was ever a quarter million of uh, citizens. But this is also not the state how it starts. I think that the game starts with like um, it's like four. Sparta is four, and now it's 5.9. So there was quite an increase during the game we are now in uh, 30 uh, 30 f first no 30 33rd okay we wait here that's all we do uh, here we might still no this is not what I want to see I want to see mm. it's not really getting that much better so they don't want to um, sign peace. Okay, hmm. our own uh, 
uh, our own relationship is quite good. So we don't need to use this guy anymore. So let's just... Yeah, let's keep him here just to uh, increase slowly the the relationship with Macedons. And that's pretty much all we can do. Macedon. And Macedon is pushing further Illyrians. Hopefully pushing further. Yeah, okay, they took uh, Iron Mine. And hopefully they will also succeed in this uh, battle for Serdi. Yeah, they, they took Serdi as well. It's getting a bit better. Okay. Sparta has signed peace with Macedon. So they, uh, they eventually did what we wanted. The problem is <laughs> that we didn't take what we wanted. <laughs> so yeah, we pushed a bit uh, further the borders, which is good. We will have a um, new field we can use. And uh, they already called back to service this uh, hoplite. You can see it, it's already not red. Which is also pr quite good for us, I would say. So what we will do now, um, we might uh, we might do a couple of things. First thing is we will get uh, these guys back to shape. We can either we can even uh, keep them on the border just for now. Uh, here we can encourage it. It's actually quite a good development now. So we will take Byrim. Ah, uh, here is the Egyptian fleet. This is always a trade-off. If you, for example, see such a boat, and there might be a unit inside, there might not be, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. We can, we can destroy that boat. The problem is that... Um, as far as I know, Egypt is not, a, a, not an independent country. It's still uh, under the wings of Persia, which means that all these guys, uh, Anatolia, Syria, of course Persia, uh, Colchis and uh, Armenia will see this attack and they might have some, uh, some fleets around and they will try to destroy us. And we have just this one by... So... <laughs> I don't know. I Yeah, okay. Let's 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 try. No, no, no. We sh we cannot try that. We need that buy ring. So, let's let's wait here and we might even try to self heal. Uh here we we will uh, once again call the encourage. I just got an achievement. You don't, you don't see that. But so far, it looks a bit better uh, than it, it did a few turns back. We are also in plus regarding gold, and we can finally trade with Sparta again. So let's <laughs> let's ask them for gold, and we can offer them stones amazing so let's let's give them an offer we really want well, they they probably want to repair sparta that's why they want the stones so let's give them five for free hopefully they will accept we really need the gold and uh, that's probably it what we should do um, is we should build cities on these islands we should build one city here we should be able to build let me just check the grid. Yeah, we should be able to build one here. So at least two cities we can build. So we will also do that, uh, but uh, due to the fact that 
uh, we have just one birem which is now used or important to do uh, to use for something else we will wait time to throw out the Cartesians as well yeah 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 I know I know uh, but there is a lot of things to, um, to somehow manage and not enough units you are not being pressured militarily it seems your your greatest difficulty is resource uh, well, I would say that, that that's the, the problem. The problem is that you simply need more mili uh, more armies, and you, and you don't have resources for that. And then then you have to somehow manage. And the same is happening for all the all the factions around. So I'm not being pressured in the way that uh, my own land. Well, it is actually in Italy, and it also was attacked in Sicily. Italy probably will not be able to hold on. Cannon and Footer is asking if they have a surplus of gold. Maybe they had a minus of food. Uh, otherwise, it makes even less sense. They didn't call their hoplites back to service. I do <laughs> hard to say. Let's uh, let's research barracks. So yeah, yeah, that this, this is it. So they they don't want to continue the trade. I think that they have enough stones. And this is our gift to Somnia, I guess. I don't even remember. This trade was signed. Okay, so we have another uh, source of gold. And uh, Sh Shidorsa is saying attack only with purpose. Killing so minor a unit seems free I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to <laughs> pronounce that uh, that word, so I'm not even sure what it means. But which which um, uh, killing so minor unit? Which which minor unit? So we have these hoplites back in shape. This this one's not yet fully in shape, um, but um, will be next turn. Here we will build the, the farm again. We have enough food, so one one of the things uh, which is quite important to take care of is now is now good. How long would it take to this hoplite to get somewhere where we can pick it up? Hmm, we need to go at least somewhere here. Okay. Uh, what we might do, we might actually try to improve it on the way. We don't have that much gold, but the Pathfinder might be something we will use yeah let's do that ah the the Egyptian boat yeah well that's the purpose the purpose was that if they're the, if, if they are kind of waiting for the right moment to disembark then we will be in trouble here especially when even this hoplite it will take two turns to just get there so there is a purpose uh, this unit well, we need to we need to keep here uh, keep here at least one unit just to be sure that uh, nothing bad happens. This unit will still heal, and this unit will for now. Where is that hoplite? Yeah, it's, it's in tips. Okay. Let's move him a bit closer. Just to have more uh, action points once we need them. And we will um, we will heal the general. Here I guess we should also use this encourage even for the buy ring, so let's do it here. And that's that's pretty much it. We cannot do anything more, as far as I know. Let me just check, just in case the ah, we can build coal yeah, coal yards now. We don't really need it that much, uh, but uh, if we have 
nice surplus of coal, we might be able to trade it as well. So which town does not have, this, this one does not have any processors yet. So let's build coal, coal yard. And let's check once again the trading. So we will have enough coal, that's good, we need gold. We can trade with the uh, Roman Republic, so let's give them free coal for free gold. We have quite a good surplus, so it should be fine. Let's see. Illyria now, the units of Illyria are quite weak, so we might be able to push them back, but Carthage has signed peace with Macedon, so what, what do you say about that? And the trade was rejected, okay, they are not interested in the coal anymore. There is some kind of general here. And we don't want them here. So let's let's move closer anyway. So Carthage basically took all that and they didn't uh, and we were not able to do anything about it. It's good in Syracuse at least. But the problem is that this... Ah, yeah, it's the dirt road is, uh, is still valid for us. So our, our current situation is that we are basically in peace uh, uh, with... Um, we are in peace with Carthage, we are in peace with Sparta, we are in war with all the Persian satrapies in Persia, and we are in... Uh, sorry, we in war, and we are in war with Illyrians. So, with, with this hoplite coming uh, to the north, we might be able to eventually uh, try to push them um, push them further. And th that's what we will do. I will, I will keep here uh, one uh, hoplite on the south, because anything can happen. And otherwise, uh, this settler will go to Corinth and connect uh, Alice as well. And we will, we will build farms here. Now there is that one tile in front of Syracuse. Yeah, I know. I know, it's theirs. <laughs> is it possible that the trade amount you are asking for, uh, for are too great to be accepted? Well, uh, it is possible, but uh, on the other hand, uh, I offered them the um, open... No, no, it's how it's called. Let me just check it out. I, I, I used... Mm. What I used? I used the offer offer my proposal so they can basically lower their amount uh, they can give us uh, in return. No, uh, Sparta called this unit to the service even before the peace was signed. It was in that same turn, so I think that they first call called the back to the service and after that um, there was. Uh, there was this peace sign. <laughs> this emissary is almost ready to be promoted to general. I think that next turn it was Dallas. So it means that uh, we might have three generals, which is quite a lot. Quite the troubles in Asia Minor, as I can say. 
We need to kill this general. Anatolia has just disembarked in uh, Italy, in our Italy. So we just signed peace with one enemy, and another enemy has just disembarked. What a mess! now is ready to be promoted so we will probably uh, take him back to capital because this will bring us some uh, influence as well and you can see this is the warning so an ops that's the emissary uh, is now being called back home and uh, his affinity to Macedon is extreme we should consider that and the on only thing we can do is to try that to cross the border once once we are successful in that it means that uh, all is safe. And next turn we will uh, promote the mystery to general. So, uh, what we will do now, we need to save our, uh, our colonies in Italy. So, uh, let's jump on this Byrim. Not here. And wait one turn. I could have also, mm, I could, uh, could have used the encourage, but uh, now it doesn't really matter. How this guy looks like? Mm, it's really going quite slowly. Here we build a field. Now we will sell here, and this unit is ready now. So we can. What we can do is we can switch this unit in Philos uh, and this unit and we might try with uh, this Neoptolemos uh, conquer something here but I don't think that that would actually make any difference because his experience is still quite low let's see what they have here they moved their capital Lysos is no more capital it's now risen as far as I remember was listened before, no? Hmm. Okay. Philos, by the way, does uh, Philos have any... No, there is nothing. Okay. So we need to wait. Here, hopefully, we will be able to uh, <laughs> to somehow survive. The great thing would be if Anatolia is in war with Carthage, they take what, what Carthage took from us, and we will, after that, take everything back. That would be like uh, like a dream. Uh, I'm restricting my population grow because we were out of wood as I as far as I remember I can I can again uh, I can again start uh, supporting the bird trade that's that's a good I that's a good idea let me check that once it's uh, our turn so they took our oh that's that's fast. Okay, the good thing is that uh, Taras was able to defend itself. They, they took the mine, but we should be able to reconquer it back. Uh, a, some units are disembarking in, in uh, the Asia Minor. Mm, it's a Macedonian unit, but that's not really the big uh, disembarking. Hell's land? Okay, so Spartans are now influencing our land. I 
that this channel can also take a rest just to get back to shape and here we will promote the emissary to, to general so we get uh, once you do that um, you obviously turn your emissary to general but you also get uh, some resources which means I think 50 influence and we can now hire a new emissary because we are out of emissaries so let's do that we will rep uh, repair Taras and our new general should probably go to Italy we will check out what's happening there we cannot attack now uh, Carthage but we can at least check what's uh, what's happening and this emissary is there anything we can do or how to change our situation in our favor What we actually would prefer is that Ma uh, when Macedon is not going further north and uh, rather help us with Illyrians, I guess. That, that's something that uh, would be in our favor, right? Because we don't have anything out of these uh, conquests. So let's take the emissary and uh, go back to Fela and praise Thracians. Alice finally and uh, once we have this shi uh, ship available then we will call back to service these settlers and build those two cities and let's increase the birth rate a bit higher value by the way what are the objectives anyway I mean We should rebuild the great tradition of learning and culture. Okay, it, it definitely means the more pro uh, production of uh, influence, which uh, we need to build philosophical school in uh, Hellas. So that's what we wanted to do with with the sage. But for now, well, we can build it, but it's a lot of gold. So let's skip that one. Military power, yeah, okay. So we, we need to build a bigger army. Uh, conquer islands, hmm, okay. And conquer Italy, well. <laughs> Nothing seems plausible right now. I'm not sure if you noticed that general which who disembarked on that island. It might sound or it might look like a, a silly move. Thracians are attacking back. Boy. It might look like silly move but it, uh, it is not that silly actually. Uh, the reason... We can appoint new emissary. Okay, so we can now have two emissaries already. Yeah. Okay. Confidential message about the, this is a message which you uh, you get from emissaries from time to time about your enemies. And now we got a message about Thracians. So they have two active military units and eight cities. Fair enough. Um, that's not a lot. So if they have two units, this one is uh, the first one. And there is another unit somewhere somewhere here. So they are quite weak. But it's still a long way to conquer them. I don't think that uh, we can wait for them. Uh, so this general over here. This is a great spot uh, to, to see what is going on around. So they have the fog of war uh, lifted. 
and we cannot attack them with Byrim, so they are basically safe there as long as we don't take another unit and disembark and destroy them. So that's one of the things you can also do, and uh, there is nothing uh, the enemy can do about it. So our uh, general is is pretty much uh, back in shape, 92% loyalty. So well, let's wait one more turn. Here is the general we want him to send to uh, Italy. There is Carthaginian ship, but we are in peace with Carthage, so let's, let's embark or disembark. No, embark. And here, let's take back this all land. So yeah, we have Hoplite there, and he will stay there. We will keep him here, and uh, whenever uh, we get back to the war, we will try to get all these back. I'm pretty sure that it will soon, soon or later happen, because the tents uh, will not be able to stop that. This uh, hoplite, I would ideally get him back uh, and repair him, him properly, but I'm a bit worried that just one one warrior will will uh, try try its luck and conquer Philos. So this. Uh, we will simply go to a safe, but safe place where we can disembark to our mainland and go to uh, Macedonian capital. Right now we have this Byrim finally uh, available and there is nothing we want to transfer. We have now three hoplites. Right? Yeah, we don't have any peltas. And we need more gold. Hmm. There is not much we can do to get more gold. Actually, we need to um, call these units um, or get them to reserves. That's that's what we need to do. We need one more unit here just to be sure that whatever happens we will not only defend it but eventually tr uh, get the whole Sicily. So let me check once again the trade. Offers gold, okay. So the only faction which uh, one, uh, offers gold is Sparta. So let's do something else. Let's not offer them coal. But let's call for open request and see what they actually want. Destroyed one um, Macedonian warrior. And, uh, Macedon is trying to counter attack that warrior. It's definitely not, not um, a situation where it's clear that um, one of those enemies, the Thracians or Iranians, will be definitely destroyed. It's kind of... it looks like um, stalemate. Maybe the Thracians a bit, they are pushing them further, but not that much. So yet they want just one coal now. Well, that's good. So we have the unit, uh, we need to self-heal it uh, for one more turn and after that we will call them to reserves. This fleet is now ready and we can somehow move those settlers. So let's do that. Hopefully nothing will stop us. So these guys will be recalled to service. Okay.
Uh, this is the general. We will keep the general uh, in Italy. And there is the emissary, and he's going to the capital, which is now Amphipolis. Uh, this guy will stay where he is. And the same General Nabis. General Enops can wait one more turn to be fully uh, fully loyal. Coal mine will be now uh, repaired. Fair enough. Let me just check if everything seems to be correct. Wait, sorry, yeah. Okay. Conor and Futral is saying Macedon seems really weak at the moment. Most elite units are gone for... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. But uh, we are definitely uh, weaker than they. <laughs> so I know that once we uh, once we declare independence from them, then uh, the other enemies might uh, sign peace, like the Illyrians, maybe Thracians. They would, they eventually might side, uh, want to sign peace with us, which is good. But uh, we have there just two units. Um, one is on the border with uh, Sparta, and one is on the border with Illyrians. So I don't think that we can now change sides, at least for now. But yeah, you are right. Most of the most of the Phalangetai are gone. So uh, when this happens in game, because we were playtesting it a lot, when this happens in game, then the, then Macedon basically lost its momentum and. Uh, it it might not be able to, to to become the superpower, basically. Okay, we have some treaties with the with that nation which was raised in civil war, and here we will try to. I will go to open sea. Just okay. I don't want to get to any conflicts, to be honest. So let's go to open sea now. Somewhere here. The reason is for me it's important to 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 transport that hoplite instead of mm, destroying one particular uh, one particular fleet. Slowly getting back to shape. This guy will also wait. This is kind of a peaceful, peaceful time for now. And we are getting ready. Everything should, should get ready. But this is uh, there is a potential to multiply his courtyard. Let's do that. Uh, here we are. We are done basically. It's 97%. I will bring him to the border and we might try to use the influence, the initiate revolt action of both generals on Lysos. And, and uh, maybe even take Hoplite with us and try to conquer that. Let's see if it will work. Uh, this hoplite. The question is, this hoplite, if we if, if we keep him in this place two more taras. The the problem in this matter is that if we keep him in place uh, two and someone declares, let's say, Carthage declares a uh, war on us, then they will probably go directly to place two, and we might not be either we might not be able to call them back to service at all or we will call them but they will still be in the process so Yay! I will I will rather um, return them to reserves in Taras because that will definitely give us some time hopefully uh, to to get back to uh, uh, service <laughs> Called by Okay. 
It's actually quite important to build those two cities uh, and the reason is that we will build trading there and it will bring us more uh, more gold. As you can see, that's what I, uh, what's I, that's what I presumed. Zakynthos is now Egyptians and they built, uh, they built their a city. So on the way back, once we build that, uh, that city over there, we might try to take it over. Let's play a couple more turns. At least. But I will, uh, let's say in 15-20 minutes, call this off because uh, it's almost midnight. Here. Illyria is trying to get back their, their uh, gold mine. And they they get it. they got it. They have quite a lot of weak un uh, weak units, but they are quite efficient in these terrains like this forest and hills. On the other hand, Macedon uh, had better units, but they are simply not suitable for for these places. This is the nation which was uh, created from the civil war in Anatolia, right? Yeah. They are in war with all the satrapies, that, that makes sense. And Macedon has quite a bridgehead here, actually. They're, they don't have m many units, but they were able to... For, for quite uh, uh, a while already, keep this breedhead, which is interesting. Okay, let's get back to work. So we have this uh, road now ready. Uh, we will also... We can build a city here as well. I think that we will do that. Basically, build as many cities as you can uh, if you have uh, enough food, because uh, you can build trading there, and this will bring you more uh, more gold. So, uh, if you have enough food, that's definitely uh, there is no pro no reason why not. So here, I will basically just transfer. The Take there the settler. It will take one more, one turn at least. We might take it this way. So how does it look like with these guys? We can try that. They have warriors here, but they don't have anyone. As far as, uh, as I can say, they don't have anyone. <coughs> around yeah ah! okay uh, yeah let's let's give it a try we will save the, we will secure this place with hoplite and we will go there with both generals and we will try, we will use both to initiate the war. 2% is not much. I guess the, the reason might be that they have some kind of improvement. 
It's a big city as well. Well, let's see how they will react. Uh, this is the general we have there. Okay, we can um, get him back to shape. And here we want the Thracians to be praised. 7%, okay. I guess that uh, that our praising actually uh, led to the Spartan peace. It, it, it's not always as, I would say, uh, as fast, but it uh, has considerable impact on, on the whole relation, so... Yeah, yeah, so that's the, that's the uh, nation from Civil War. They are actually helping Macedon over there because we are in peace with them. So now if Macedon attacks that city, they will take it. Oh, Victoria actually tries to prevent that. Okay, fair enough. Bosporan Kingdom is not really important for us. They are here. Uh, they are actually doing quite good cons uh, considering the um, initial setup. So, it seems like nothing has changed in Lissos. Let's just try to be sure. It's 9, it's 8. Okay. So we might try that again. Let's try it again. 2%. Mm. That's really not much. 4%. Uncertain outcome. Let's take these... Uh... You can see that we basically extended the... Uh... The land of Macedon now, but it doesn't really matter. What we what we will try to achieve is that we will uh, besiege the city. Ah! This guy can go inside. And here we want to somehow get on board. Yeah, we can here. So as far as I know, ah, the general is gone. Already. So we can even decide if we will build a city here or here. I would probably rather uh, start with this island because otherwise the uh, influence what can be used by uh, Anatolians will be, it will be really cheap to influence the, the, the new, new town because it's too far from all the rest. gold now that's good let's check again the trade we can actually uh, we can trade with the uh, with Asua so let's uh, or it's demand or ah it's request sorry so we can trade with Macedon well let's let's trade with our friends our masters let's give them even a good exchange rate for that city again. Not successful. We would certainly appreciate uh, when Macedon signed peace with uh, with Persia. We don't we are we are not interested in that war.
Okay, seems like Virians are still not getting back to the city. Uh, they disembarked on our island and uh, island, and they took. The so it wasn't the general; it was a proper proper army. Macedon signed that. That's good. So what's the current turn? It's 44 turns. We played around... Wow, we played quite a long. Um, I think that we will uh, we will uh, call this off for, for tonight. So what has happened? How, uh, how are we doing regarding uh, all the stats? So... Military superiority, well, that's uh, not good. Victory points are not bad. We are still holding what we should have, and uh, considering that uh, the victory points are doing quite well. Quite well. Technology dominance, well, nothing is really, I would say, standing out from those uh, from those uh, victory conditions. Uh, regarding the statistics, economy economy is slowly going up, which is definitely a good sign. Military power is is not getting up. It's kind of uh, stagnating. And Persia and Carthage are getting stronger and stronger. Cities, yeah, Persia uh, builds more and more cities. Carthage actually lost some cities. Okay, it's interesting. Resources, it's uh, we are doing quite well. We don't attack much, so we are at the bottom of the list. Casualties will be also quite low. Yeah. Foreign relations. We have quite bad foreign relations. Don't know. Don't know why. Country size. Okay. Population. Oh, that's not bad. Population is okay, I would say. With, uh, when we compare it to, uh, to Persia. Three millions and we have like, I don't know. Seven, seven hundred thousand and development okay well uh, that's it for tonight uh, I hope that you like the second episode of the of the stream and uh, I hope that I will see you next time again uh, probably on Wednesday I will definitely uh, uh, I will definitely announce it in advance so uh, just um, um, check out the steam steam events uh, uh, Shaidor Sai saying the observation of avoiding influence was very help insightful yeah yeah it, it's actually there there is like uh, there is number of things which uh, which are uh, having impact on how much does the influence cost and one of those is how far and how stand alone basically ki kind of alone the city city is so if you would if you would uh, have the first city here all the all the other cities are qu quite far, so it would be cheaper. But if we have one city already here, which is closer to our um, other cities, then it will be more expensive. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely uh, do enjoy the streaming. So I hope I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Good night. <laughs>